is I don't know what's going on with Lark this morning. So she is refusing food. She's very lethargic. She's not getting up for me. Usually she always gets up to greet me, doesn't want ice cream, won't go and feed her babies. And I'm extremely worried. She's literally very unresponsive. So I'm gonna pick her up and take her to the vet. <sighs> Just because I don't know what's going on. Very nervous. Honey, are you okay? You're barely opening your eyes for me. up and put her in the back of my car and we're gonna go I don't know if she's just tired or she's I don't know what's going on but I'm kind of freaking out so better safe than sorry so I'm back home now from the vet um the vet said that she her white blood cell count is really low and her electrolytes are very low they did a full blood panel um other than that she's really healthy so that means a she's stressed b she isn't getting like the proper nutrients. So they're gonna give her an IV right now. Um, so she's at the vet still for four to five hours. They're just gonna pump her up with like electrolytes and things to like get her hydrated and a little more comfortable, a little like less stressed. And then they're also putting her on what's called a appetite, I forget, it's not suppressant, it's like to increase her appetite. It's an oral uh, medication that I put in her mouth and then she eats and she'll be like, she'll be ravenous, like she'll want to eat a lot. So I don't know, she hasn't had an issue with food, but she was just really, it like really freaked me out this morning to not like see her responsive. Storm's here, he was a very good boy while I was gone. I'm about to feed the puppies now. Thankfully they can eat on their own and they're not gonna be like freaked out that she's not here. So I'll check in in a few hours. Y'all done? There they are, they're eating. Except these two, they're more interested in getting out of the cage. Teal just wants cuddles from me. Pink is a really good eater. Yeah, she is. She loves it. And blue, actually, and red. Teal likes to eat alone. Yeah. Look whose ears have popped. They're no longer the floppy one, it's blue. He's the first to walk, first to bark, <laughs> and now he's the first one to have his ears pop. So all the huskies have little floppy ears when they're babies, and then once they're a few weeks old, they they pop, and they popped. Cutie. All right, so it's a little later. I just got a call from our vet who said Lark has been on the IV now for four to five hours, and she's not showing really any symptoms of getting better. She's not eating, she's not hungry, she's not really responsive to anyone else. And the owner, the like head veterinarian, said that he thinks she has an infection and they wanna get her started on antibiotics, put an IV in her, and potentially keep her overnight. So of course I freaked out, I'm like, what did we do? Did we do something wrong? How did she get an infection? And he like stressed that like we did not do anything wrong. She was, cause she actually got her blood work done a week ago, I brought her to the vet just because I wanted to make sure everything was good with her. She's a dog who runs really hot. She's always panting. And she ha has had a fever now from 101 to 104.8, which is very high for a dog. So clearly that's a sign of some infection that the body's trying to fight off and burn off. So yeah, I, I, I took her there last week and they said her blood panel was perfectly fine. She was healthy. So it's something that either was already in her body that is just like starting or something happened in the next few days we did have a few visitors but nobody was sick everybody washed their hands it was pretty like it was perfect because I like handled it I made sure that everybody was in good health that went to see her so I don't know it could have been maybe one of the dogs scratched her and they had something on their nail or I don't know I'm gonna get more information, update you guys. But right now, I'm going to the vet. I have my tote bag full of chicken. I got some eggs because she likes she likes hard-boiled eggs. And then in here, I have her food that she eats, her prepackaged food, and then some chicken that I'm gonna try to hand feed her. And then I have some ice creams at the bottom. So if it is a case of her not eating because one of the vets is trying to feed her, then hopefully I can help with that. Emotional. This is not what I wanted. I mean, I don't think anybody wanted this, but this is just like not. I feel terrible. It's so sad. Oh my god. 
but I am being very positive right now that she's gonna be completely fine. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see her, I'll try to vlog on my phone a little bit in there. The thing that sucks is if she's on antibiotics, it's gonna go into her milk and she can't breastfeed anymore. So the puppies are starting already to be weaned off, which is great, but we're just gonna have to, have to escalate the process a little faster. So feed them more and, you know, obviously not have them rely on their mom at all, which is going to be difficult, but I have hope that everything's going to be perfect, send good vibes our way, and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Bye. Hey, little girl. You want some food? You hungry? Got some chicken for you. Stay there, okay? Gotta stay there. Good girl. No, 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 no. Stay. Stay, Marky. Stay. Stay. Sit. Mark, sit. Mm, love you. You're doing okay, Mama? Hmm? Stay. Give me some chicken. Let's give you some of this. Come on, you gotta eat for me. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, you're gonna eat for Papa. Good girl. Look at all that chicken you ate, and you ate three whole eggs. That's a good girl. And I left you an ice cream. So I just got back in my car from the vet, as you guys saw in the clip before. <sighs> this is so stressful. Um, so the vet thinks she has a, a bacterial infection called metritis, which is very common with mothers that have given birth. Um, something could have happened during the, because the birthing process is not obviously like a sanitary um, process for humans or animals so things can happen and it's an infection that happens I believe in the vulva um, and basically she needs to be on antibiotics to kill the bacteria um, and then she'll be fine but it's just terrifying because I feel like I like I'm to blame which I know I'm not but it's and we caught it super early, but it's just like terrifying to have your dog in the ER and it was really scary just to see her like in that kennel and she seemed to be in really good spirits though, so I'm happy about that. I'm just like a little nervous of the puppies too. They're not gonna be able to be breastfed any longer. Like from now on, we're gonna have to feed them by hand and I have to feed them every three hours. Um, so it's just a little terrifying, I don't know. But I will keep you guys updated. Um, thank you for your tweets and everything. I really appreciate it. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. It is 1 a.m. and I am up for the first feeding of the night. So let's check out what the puppies are doing. Oh, they are up. They are up, aren't they? Good morning, guys. Who's ready to eat? It's okay, you don't need to cry, I'm here. Oh, are your ears popping yellow? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. All right, I am gonna go make you guys your breakfast and I'll be right back, okay? Another day, another slop. So I'm actually lucked out because they are all liking this stuff and I don't have to bottle feed them, which is very helpful. My sanity. A little more in here. And there we are. Delicious. Okay, two minutes later and there are poops everywhere. It's really funny because they kind of all eat at the same time. So it makes sense that they all poop at the same time. So I'm just picking these up so they're not stepping in their own poop. Okay, you guys, I'll feed you in a second. Hold on. All right, here we go again, guys. Gather around. Gather around to eat. Go ahead, kitties. Good boys and goo. So everyone is eating nicely except you. Mr. Blue wants to be out with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, mister. You are so sweet. your brothers and sisters everyone's eating so nicely and then you're just being so oh 
Zip it. Zip it. It's actually really funny. The little girl likes to be alone when she eats. So I put the boys outside in a little pen so they can play for a few minutes and go poopy. And she's eating inside alone like a princess. And then I'm gonna clean up their pen and then put them to bed for a couple more hours and then repeat this in uh, like three, four hours when they wake up. <coughs> Zip it. Zip it. Hi, baby. Hi, mama. Thank you. Hi, oh, are you hungry? Okay, okay. Sit, stay down, stay down. Stay down, can you sit? Frankie, can you sit? Oh, you're excited. Are you feeling better? Oh, you guys. She's out of her bed now, for now. Um, I'm gonna give her some food. Come here. Can you sit? We have breakfast. No, 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 sit down, sit. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, so I made you, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, come here. Look, I made you ground turkey with eggs. Do you wanna hop up here? You hop up? Can you sit? And I'll feed you? No, uh, uh, uh. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Here, let me take this from you. Oh, you're famished, aren't you? Alright, so it is the next day and I'm back at the vet. Clearly she's doing better. So this is a really good sign. I think they are going to keep her a few more hours to monitor her. But she looks like she's doing much better. So the vet was actually able to tell me that Lark has something called mastitis, which is an infection in the mammary glands uh, where she breastfeeds. So there's like a blockage in the mammary glands and it gets infected and therefore she had to be put on the antibacterial medication IV. So that's why she can't breastfeed anymore because the babies can't have her milk because it has the medicine in it. So thankfully they are on food, so we're gonna have to feed them ourselves and she's basically, she's basically done breastfeeding. So now she'll probably get detached from the babies a lot quicker. I mean, obviously she'll still love and care for them, but her milk is gonna dry up and she's gonna return to her normal, her normal figure, her normal girlish figure, um, which maybe she had planned this whole time. Who knows? No, I'm just kidding, but we're happy that it's not life-threatening and she's gonna be home very soon. Look who's home, mama's home. You guys, Lark is home, she's happy to be here, but we don't know how to keep her away from, hey, come here, come here, dinner, over here. We don't know how to keep her away from the babies because she wants to go in there and feed them, but she's not allowed to because she's on her antibiotics. So we're trying to let her in slowly just to show her that they're okay, but it's very difficult because she just wants, see she's crying at the door. She wants to jump in there and feed them. I'm gonna need to get her some sort of like jacket or something so they can't like tug on her nips, but that she's still with them. I don't know, wish me luck. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to pick up Lark. Um, she's staying with our friend, um, just cause it was a lot easier to have her at some, just elsewhere from the puppies because she really just wanted to feed them all the time. And of course she can't because she's on antibiotics still. And the puppies are almost completely weaned off. They're eating dry food now, which is amazing. They're pooping a lot more, peeing a lot more. So it's just, <sighs> Uh, that much more difficult. So I am here now and we're gonna put a little puppy sweater on her just to protect her nippleopolises and we're gonna bring her home and reunite her with the babies. So let's go do that. I'm kind of nervous, but I think she's been in a better space now that she's like, she knows that she doesn't have to feed them for a few days or didn't have to. And she's been able to rest and sleep better at night, which is great. So her and Wolf has, have actually been here together because I didn't want to leave her alone. I wanted her to have some company and Storm has been having some alone time with us, which has been interesting. He's like, why am I alone right now? I don't understand it. But he's getting a lot of attention and a lot of chicken, so I think he's really happy. Um, okay, so let's go uh, put a full bodysuit on Lark. Good morning, mother. Oh God, oh God. Your nipples look so much, oh my gosh, okay. Well, she's very excited. She wants to get home and she wants to feed her children. Huh? Hi. I know. All right, let's get, so we have this one right here, a little ski-do water suit for her, and then this one which literally has sleeves. Which one do you want, the black one? 
Okay, let's do that. Look at you, mama. You look stunning in your wetsuit. I just want to get you a little surfboard and take you out to the ocean in Hawaii. So this is called a shed defender. It's obviously for shedding dogs, but as you can see, it fully zips up the underbelly. You can zip this so she can go to the bathroom. This is just preventative, so she's more comfortable when the puppies, when she sees the puppies again and they don't like attack her for milk, which hopefully they don't. And um, I think we're good to go. Are you excited? Are you happy? I'm sorry you were away from them for a few days, but it was better for you. All right, all right, we'll see you when we get home with the puppies. There she goes. Let her in. Let her in, she has her bodysuit on. Wow, that's skinny. She went surfing today, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Larky, come on. Your girl, do you wanna see your baby? Go in there. Go see him. Oh. <laughs> Step on the head. <laughs> and she's like, ah, uh, never mind. None of you can have this. <laughs> These titties are on lock. Oh, they Wait. haven't seen her in like three days. I know. <laughs> we took good care of him, Larkisha. Oh, that suit is so comfortable. <laughs> really super Uh-uh, that milk is dried up and them titties are small again. Are they? Yeah. Good. We want milk, Mom. Oh, no. The milk is over. Oh my god, they're trying to bite through the suit. Lark, come here. Larky, come here. Oh my god. Pumper. Wait, oh, your ears are up. Anybody else's ears are up? No. Teal, blue, and red. You guys are not getting any feeding out of there. You guys are on food now. No more nipple. No more nipple. You happy, sweetie? You happy to be home? <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Going for a poop, big boy. Oh, that's cute. Sweet man. A little rabbit. Little rabbit. Oh, Blue, you are obsessed with my shoelaces. Stop it. Oh, break don't, it up, boys. Don't you break it up. Break it. Oh, you're chewing on the hose. It's so cute. But don't do it. Don't. Don't do it. You guys want a little miss? Gorgeous. Oh, the rainbow. Oh, hi, bud. <laughs> I just fed the boys. We are outside in their pen playing and eating. This is food, this isn't poop. You guys, no, 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 no. We're not gonna start ripping this. We're not gonna do that. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. This is their new food that they're eating. It's a little darker. Red, what's going on, buddy? And their other daddy went to go bring Pink, our little princess, to the vet because she had something called prolapse. Uh, basically, she was pushing too hard when she pooped and some tissue came out. It's, it's a natural thing, it happens to people too, but um, not that not as often with puppies. So they're gonna go and help her and take care of her, um, but it's nothing too dangerous. Stay there. It's just a little uncomfortable for her, but it's a 24-7 job. I'm like, I it was supposed to go away this weekend to Montana to do a camera camp with Sony and I, Justine, and Jenna. I was invited by them, but I'm not going to be able to go just because I have to feed the pups every three hours. Lark was in the ER. It's just like really crazy and stressful over here. I'm exhausted. I know this was kind of a dramatic vlog, but this is like the reality of the situation. Um, I hope it wasn't boring for you guys, but I will be coming up with some new content soon that is not puppy related for you guys that are sick of the puppy related stuff stuff. A lot of fall themed stuff, a lot of travel stuff is coming up, so I hope you guys are ready for that. Um, but I think that's it for today's video, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below, and let me know what we should do next with the puppies, because I do want to come up with some like cute concept videos with them. But I still don't have an outro, so this is the outro. I'll see you next time. Bye!